This is Scott Cannon. I took a trip to the Glen Lyon flagpole to check out a possible mine or column bank fire that I had heard about earlier this year. It's of concern because it's near a proposed natural gas to gasoline plant by a company called Nacero. When I originally heard about the fire, I contacted the DEP and they sent someone to take a look. They contacted the owner of the property and they told them that there was a tire fire recently and it was put out. They couldn't find the area of the fire events. So here's the spot uh, in relationship to the uh, flagpole. If we come about 150 feet over here, and this is the spot right here. This is the hot spot right here. It's about 110 degrees. Uh, the wind's blowing. You can see uh, this yellow right here is sulfur. And you can feel it. Warmth coming up from it. Uh, this is a column bank that appears to have a, a fire uh, growing underneath it. I don't know if there's any other outlets for it, but um, this is definitely blowing off some, some heat. Here's another vent, literally four feet from the other one. And uh, again, you can, you can feel the heat uh, coming off this vent. So these are the two vents that we can find up on top of the mountain by the flagpole. Several sources say this has been burning for years, and one source told me that it would take 20 years to remove the enormous mountain of coal that was built up during the mining era of northeastern Pennsylvania. This makes me wonder that if they did any impact studies before they announced the plant's arrival, would they have found something like this and decided not to build the plant in this area?